So hey guys, Gerald here. Today I'm going to share with you guys a story before I begin the exercise. So for those of you that want to skip straight to the exercise, I'm going to leave the timestamp below. Alright, so as you all know, it's been over a month since I last posted. I've been locked up inside this house because I needed to study for my exams and I am so happy to be back. Alright, so we're going to head outside to the outdoor Babita Court to do some exercises, my favourite little place. And yeah, we're going to go. So as we all know, in order for us to head outside, it's mandatory for us to wear a mask. So I'm going to need a mask. Bro, bro, can you help me uh, find my mask? Bro, come on. What was that for? Oh, wow, wow, how did you do that? Man. Alright, so we are ready to go now. Wait, what? No! So as you guys can see, doing badminton exercises or videos, even in the outdoor court is now impossible. So it's not doable because of the circuit breaker in Singapore. But on the other hand, what we can do is home exercises, which is in today's video, ah, skipping. What we're going to do today is a 20 minute beginner skipping exercises. So for those of you that are, you know, uh, on a higher level, then this video is probably not for you. But for those of you that are new to skipping, this video is for you. So we're going to cover like uh, the basics or, or basic skipping exercises that you can do while improving your skipping skills. So skipping is so important for badminton, it's so helpful and there are, number, uh, and, and there are a couple of reasons why skipping is really effective. So the first is that it keeps you light on your feet. Having to skip means you need to kind of bounce and that keeps you light on your feet and that's really helpful when you want to move around, around the court. And the second reason is that skipping will train your endurance and not just uh, endurance as a whole but the endurance of your calves so why is this so important is that because when you try to do a full jump right like you do a squat jump that full uh, some people call it china jump or box jump it's very draining on your body and you can't really last very long but if you use your calves and jump right just to kind of jump you could get good amount of height and you can last significantly longer like if you, if you try it at home, you, you try to do full, you know, box jump, uh, you're not going to last very long. Probably 30 times, 40 times, if you're fit, 50 times maybe. But if you do calves and jump, you're going to last hundreds, maybe even thousands for those of you that, that are fit. So that's how important it is to train your calves. And last but not least, the training your calves would protect your knee. Because with strong calf muscles, it protects your knees from injuries because impact comes from the floor through your calf into your knees. Alright, so very important to show your calves and today we're going to get started with the exercise. Alright, so before we begin, it's very important to do your warm-up exercises and if you haven't already, I made a video to describe or share with you guys my warm-up routine. So check it out over here or here. Which side is it? Here. Alright, so let's begin once you're done with the warm-up exercise, okay? So what we're going to do is alternate side shuffle. So we're going to shuffle on alternate legs. So for those of you that are completely new to this, it's a good chance for you to get your timing right. So you start off by practicing double legs and as you get better, learn to, to shuffle on one leg. So every time you jump, you alternate, all right? So there we go. All right, then we're going to do this for five minutes. All right, so now that we are all warmed up, it's time to begin the exercise. So we start off with uh, five minutes single uh, single skip. So we get ready first. And three, two, one, and go. All right. So now we just need to keep steady this pace. Yeah. So so. So what we want is to you know, be able to uh, have a nice constant pace. You want to rope, you know, go move over at a constant pace and. You shift your weight from left to right, left to right, right to left, left to right. So this is the exercise that I used to do when I was in the Singapore Sports School. It's a very effective exercise. We used to do this, I think, once a week. Yeah, under Coach Dixon, I still remember. So if you're feeling the burn, just keep hanging on, all right? So for those of you that are a bit fitter, 
this will eventually become like a warm up exercise and back then in sports school I did 10 minutes if I remember correctly we did 10 minutes of this as a warm up and then we moved towards the double skipping drills so the funny thing was that when I went to the Singapore sports school right I did not know how to skip at all I couldn't skip to save my life and I had to practice a lot so I was making mistakes like every 10 seconds like I would I would, I would do jumps like this and yeah and then my coach would make fun of me for being very bad at skipping so I would and I would swing it really high so just just so that I could get the timing over so yeah that was more like 15 years ago uh, about that uh, yeah so it took me like a good month before I could learn how to do the sub shuffle and at, an additional month so two months before I could do like the double skip so I used to train not just during uh, the training time but during the night like from 9 p.m. it was my break time until 10 p.m. so I used to train or practice skipping from 9 p.m. all the way to 10 every single night because coach my coach told me that skipping was so important to learn not to mention it doesn't take up a lot of space so it's one of the exercises that you really can train uh, endurance if you're not able to run outside the house. So you can do this at home. Yeah, pretty much anywhere actually. You can do this for a really long time while watching your shows, etc. etc. I need to feel a little bit breathless now. Just hang in there. I'm gonna be done couple of minutes. Alright. Think of it as an easy job, but it's not easy, I know, but just wrong. You can do this man. No pain, no gain. Whew. It's kind of hard to talk while you're skipping. After a while, you actually get really breathless. My calves are starting to feel tired now. So the funny thing is that if you do this on a cement floor, on the cement floor, you would actually be able to see some sparks if you do this fast enough. Yeah. So some people have asked, is it good to get uh, weighted ropes? Like because weighted ropes, the good thing is that ooh, two mistakes in rope. So the thing about weighted ropes is that it trains your risk a lot more uh, so because it will swing harder but it makes uh, double skipping a little harder because you need to swing a lot faster yeah but I think if you skip faster like this then I think it adds pretty much makes it the same like between getting a weighted rope and a normal rope if you skip faster, if you skip faster I think it's the same so, but what you do not want to get though is those ropes that are like made out of cloth because if it's made out of cloth, what happens is that it doesn't uh, travel fast enough and it makes skipping very, very hard. Not to mention wind kind of affects uh, the direction of the rope. So that's the one rope that you gotta avoid. Yeah, so I think we're almost done now. So hang in there. Last 10 seconds. Alright. Come on. Speed. Ah. <laughs> We made a mistake. Alright, so we're done with the first set. Uh, so we're going to rest about 5 minutes and then continue the same exercise for another 5 minutes. So if you, uh, should I play this for 10 minutes? Nah, I don't think so. I think if you want to watch this or get a timer, you can just time yourself. If you want to just replay this video, pretty much the same thing. Just that the only additional part is you, you get to hear me share my stories uh, of badminton and skipping. Uh, if that's interesting to you guys. Uh, if you need to, you can pause this video, do another set of 5 minutes and then after that, come back and then we'll do the double skipping exercise together. Alright? This is the first time I actually try to skip and talk. It's actually quite hard. You know, imagine con like having a full conversation for the entire 5 minutes. Whew. Okay, so now that we have rested, 
and we've done the single skip, let's move on to the double skip. So double skip is where you get the main bulk of your exercise. So for the sake of learning how to do double skip, we're going to start off with 30 seconds of active double skipping and 30 seconds of rest. And we're going to do this for 10 cycles. So for those of you that are fitter, you want to aim for one minute. So one minute active, one minute rest, 10 sets. Uh, so what we want to try to do, we want to, the number of skips that we're trying to aim for is about 45. So 45 skips in 30 seconds. And if you're just starting out, it's going to be really hard. But with more practice, eventually, you're going to be able to get the timing. So the good thing about this is that it trains your timing. It's a lot more demanding than single skip because you need to jump a lot higher or swing a lot faster. So if you can't jump very high, swing faster. If you can't jump very high, you can swing slower. So the, the goal of this is you need to train yourself such, a, such that you can get the timing. And this is going to help you out a lot when you're, when you're trying to learn the timing of the split step. All right, so let's begin. All right, so we're going to be very strict with the timing. So once it starts, we're not going to you know, delay too much. So just before the 30 seconds up, two, three, two to three seconds before, we're going to do single, skip, single skips first. So the moment the timing starts, we can immediately move on to the double skips. All right? Okay, so I'm going to be tired for this. So I won't be talking much. All right, so let's begin. Single skip. Ready and go. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Feeling it, guys. Ooh. Ooh. That's the first set. All right. Nine more sets to go. It's going to get pretty tiring. I haven't trained for a long time because of my exams. So, You're going to see me struggle with this one. Alright, it's almost time to get ready guys. Start with a single skip and go. Made a mistake. Whew. So that's our second set. Oh, it's quite hectic. Maybe because I'm not used to this. Once you get used to this, this becomes very manageable. I think back then when I was in the national team, I used to have this uh, sparring partner. His name is Made. He could do this seven minutes. Epic. Very, very fit guy. So seven minutes, wearing slippers. Yeah, that's just sick. Okay, almost time. Oops, that was a mistake there. So you need to try to get the timing. So you need to try to get the timing. I can't hear you by the way. Hi. You can speak a bit louder so that I know the time. Let's all be able to hear. So sorry guys. So what happened is I'm getting uh, Tris to help me film. And then she's going to tell me the time when it's up. Because that's a stop watch with me right now. Yeah. Whew. So that's the third set. Seven more to go. Are you guys coping okay? Fine. Five? Four? Did you just say five? Five? Two, one, and go! So let's aim for one set without any mistakes. So in order to do this well, you really need to get your focus. Because if you don't focus, you're going to make mistakes, man. Woo. Five seconds. And go! That's the fourth set. So six more sets to go. Can you 
Show and fit, I am right now. Slowly, train back up. I feel like it hit a minute. <laughs> Ten is it? Five. 
Okay. Two points or one half a minute skip. All right, let's do this, man. Let's go. Come on. That's it for this exercise. Uh, I wish I could do the minute active minute rest, but I don't think I'm in any condition to endure that right now. <sighs> so if you like if you like videos like this, do me a big favor and hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments down below so that I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna go grab grab a drink and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.